Hello YouTube, Mr. Susco Dragon here on Team World Upon UK site. Now basically I've been watching the September ban list and basically seeing a few brand new decks popping up at the moment. Tier top tier one deck has to be Agents, which is a bitch. As probably my teammate Mr. Neo Nexus will probably tell you, it is a pain in the ass to get around. So as I've been looking at a few of the um cards that I've seen people plan, I've basically picked out a few cards that I think that are going to be seeing a lot of play in this format. Um, the format is slightly still changing because you've still got Dark Worlds coming out and of course you've got Legendary Collection 2 coming out in the next week which basically means you'll be seeing Miracle Heroes, Hero Decks, you know different different Hero Decks that will be coming out. So the first one I got, it has to be, it's always going to be around, has to be Reborn Tengu. Now, Reborn Tengu is a brilliant card, but when Neg Seeds come out, everyone first thought that basically you could use its effect when you detach it. So, you summon out a Tengu, bring out, no, basically, summon out Goblinburg, bring out a Tengu, X Seed into a rank 4, which is Utopia, then basically detach that Reborn Tengu, and then basically get its effect. No, Kunami slammed down and said, whoa, hold on a second, I don't think so. Which I think that ruling is pretty good, otherwise egg seeds will be overraped over -raped too quickly. But you see a lot of Tengus in Tengu plants, Torgo Tengu plants, you see a lot of these decks with Tengu in it, and Tengu is brilliant for a stall card, and of course to actually synchro with. So that has to be one of, of my favourite cards at the moment. Next card, basically, Neo Nexus will probably hate me for this, but... His favourite card at the moment has to be Arch Lord Christia. Now, he hates this card. I mean, with Vengeance, he really, really hates this card. He was against a guy called Jay Pierce in our local tourneys. And he was beating him down and eventually he spot out Christia. And basically he was pissed. He was just like, oh for fuck's sake. And the problem is he got shut down, you know. You know, its first effect is pretty similar, its second effect is a bitch for anyone. I mean, basically you cannot special summon at all. Even your opponent can't, and nor can you, but still you can't special summon, so that means that shut you down. I mean, getting around a, hold on, 28? Yeah, 28 beat stick is not that easy. And plus, even if you do blow it off the field, it still comes back to the top of the deck. So you still haven't got rid of it, but you see he really got peed off and to be honest I can't blame him, Christia is a bitch to get around, especially in an agent deck. Next card I think is going to be really really awesome and so far a lot of people I've seen playing this, especially to a big shout out to Dark Magician, because basically he uses this card brilliant in his Elemental Hero deck. It has to be Goblinburg. Now Goblinburg is a brilliant card in this format because of X seeds. I mean you could bring a rank four in your first turn. Just like you were able to do with um summon a monk, bring that out, discard a speed spell card, and basically bring out another one, basically like a Rose War of Revenge and Synchro. It's a bit different Goblinburg, but it gives you the option of basically getting a free special summon that turn. So I really love this card because I've used it so far and I can bring out Utopia up or Steel Swarm Roach. Which, of course, is a brilliant card, though people put the Steel Sword Roach down. Um, basically, you can just set up your players just straight off the bat. You know, wasting two cards in your hand to bring out a powerhouse is brilliant. And you're not really wasting much at all, you can set a back row as well, so you're doing pretty good. Next card I actually like a lot has to be um, Gargar Magician. Sorry about the glare, guys. I really like Gargar Magician because, you know, if it, it's level modulation. I mean, I've used this a few times and I've seen a lot of people on YouTube using it. I mean, special summon a Cyber Dragon, change Gargar Magician's uh, um, level to level 5, bring out Adreus or Tyrius. So basically, you just got yourself a beat stick. And also, you can't use it as a synchro summon, which makes it even easier, so you can't overrate Gargar Magician. Perhaps just a beat stick as well of one. Wow, one five, sorry. And so you've got like, things like Wonder Wands to use it as well. So there are so many different things you can do with Gargar Magician, but its level modulation ability I really love because that has helped me so much in my test decks. So I'd really like to see more of that play. 
the next card I really like at the moment has to be compulsory because 